Hey there, Python trainer Ruben Lerner here. And today I want to talk to you about mask indexing or Boolean indexing in pandas. This is one of the most important topics you can learn. And until you really internalize it, a lot of pandas can seem super weird. So let's start off with import numpy as np, import pandas as pd, and from pandas import series and data frame. All right, now I'm going to walk you through this because there are a bunch of things to understand here. So I'm going to start off by, let's just create a simple series. I'm going to say here s equals a series of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That's pretty simple. Now, you probably know that I can retrieve from this series using different indexes, right? I can say here, like, you know, s dot lock of two or s dot lock of four. I can even ask for more than one if I say s dot lock of two and four. Notice what I'm doing here. I'm passing a list of integers to the square brackets. And so I'll get back both of those things, index two and index four. But what happens if I pass a list of Boolean values that say true and false? Huh, well, I'm gonna say s.lock of, I'm gonna pass a list, true, false, true, false, true. And look what happens, I get back the values that correspond with true in what I passed here. So I said true, false, true, false, true. So I'm gonna get back index zero, not one, two, not three, four. I get back zero, two, and four exactly like that. This is known as a Boolean series, you know, in an index or a Boolean index, also known as a mask index because wherever the booleans are true, we get the original value back. This turns out to be one of the most important things you can learn and understand in pandas, and that might not seem obvious now, but it's more obvious once you combine it with another key idea in pandas, which is broadcasting. So if I say broadcasting, we normally think of that in terms of simple arithmetic techniques. So if I say s plus five, what's gonna happen? Well, s is a series. We're going to add five to each element and we're going to get back a new series. So I get back 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, the result of adding five to each of them. Basically what happens is because I have a series and a scalar value, that scalar value is added to each element of the series. By the way, we've not changed S. S is exactly what it was before. But what if I use an equality operator instead of plus? It'll still broadcast giving us booleans, true and false. So if I say s equals equals 30, it's gonna check if every or if each element in s is equal to 30, and guess what? That's false, false, true, false, false. Starting to see what's going on now? What if I now apply this Boolean series to dot lock on, our, on s? I can say s dot lock of false, false, true, false, false. And yes, I know that's a list, not a series. Hang with me here. And so I got back the only element, which is equal to 30. All right, so you're starting to see what's going on here. Now let's pull all together. Now I'm gonna say s.lock of s equals equals 30. And this drives people bananas because it seems weird. How can s be inside the square brackets and also outside the square brackets? You have to think about it in turn. First, the stuff inside the square brackets happens. First, pandas is going to uh, execute s equal equal 30 get back a Boolean series with false, false, true, false, false. Then with that Boolean series in place, it's going to apply it to dot lock and we're going to get back just that element. So we can use any comparison operator we want. I can say, for example, s dot lock of s is less than 30. By the way, I'm like exaggerating the spacing here just to make it a little easier to see. And now you can see that we have all the values that are less than 30. I can even go crazier than that. I can say s.lock where s is less than 30, let's say less than 20, or s is greater than 40. Because what's going to happen there? We're going to get back a Boolean series here. s is less than 20. We're going to or that together with the Boolean series we got from s is greater than 40. Wherever one of them is true, or both, although it's not going to be true here, right? Then we'll get back a true value we get back a Boolean series and we apply that to our series. So this is a mask index and this allows us to do a lot, a lot, a lot. This is why we don't use if really very much inside of pandas. 
because the Boolean series, the mask index is doing the work for us. So let's create a, a data frame now and play with that. So if I now say df equals, uh, let's do data frame, just put it that way, let's say np random random from zero to 1000, let's say we have four by four. I'm gonna say here index equals list of a, b, c, d, and we'll say columns equals list of the x, y, z. So now we have a data frame. And so now I wanna say, like find all of the even values in column y. So I'm gonna say df of y equals, oh, df of y percent two equals equals zero. Cause we're gonna do modulus two divided by two, keep the remainder and wherever the remainder is zero, here we go. So we have true, false, true, false. Look at that. That's a Boolean series. So I can say df of y where that's true. I don't do this. And it'll get it back. But it's way, way, way better just to say it in a different version. So much better to use dot lock. I can say df dot lock of, and let's just paste this in here, just as we did before. And so what's going to say now is no longer is it going to be df.lock on our series. It's going to be df.lock on our data frame. So it's going to say whichever rows match this, whichever rows were even in Y, keep those for all the columns. So wherever Y was even, show us the entire column. Yeah, but what if I only want to see y? Well, then I use dot locks two argument version. The first one, first argument is what I call the row selector. And the second one is the column selector. We'll put a comma in the middle. Indent this a little bit. And then I can say here, y. So now what have I done? I've said, show me, show me elements of column y where y is even. And if you're thinking, yeah, but what if I want to see another column instead? Well, you just put that other column there. Or you can even put a list of columns, x and y. So now we're going to see, show me elements of columns x and y, where y is even, and that's where I get it back. Understanding how to put together this kind of Boolean series based on broadcasting is critical, and you're always going to want to apply it with dot lock. It takes a little while to get used to the syntax. It's kind of weird to see the same thing inside the square brackets and outside the square brackets, but I promise you it will get easier, will get more obvious, and it'll start to sort of flow through you as a, a clear, obvious, easy way to retrieve data from your data frames. I'm going to have lots, lots, lots more to say about dot lock because it's such an incredibly versatile um, uh, um, you know, accessor that we can use, technique that we can use in data frames. But if you can just sort of square away Boolean series and mask indexing, you'll be much better off. I hope this was interesting and useful. Tell me what your questions are and what you want to learn. I'll be back soon with more videos. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you real soon.